In this video, I will show you how we can take gigapixel panorama shootings with the Mavic 4 Pro with the 70 mm lens, with the 38 mm lens, and also with 100 megapixel resolution in AEB mode. So, with the 100 megapixel AEB mode, we get a huge image from 62,000 per 31,000 pixels and I will show you in this video how we can do that. Here we can see the images from the Mavic 4 Pro with the full resolution in AEB mode. So we get 12,000 per 8,000 pixels with the 28 millimeter camera and then I stitch them together with Photomatics Pro and let's see what's the final result in Photoshop. Actually I am at 2%, 62,000 pixel per 31,000. Now let's zoom in. So what you can see here is the Kaiserstadt from the Hasliberg near Meiringen. Let's even go more into details. So we get a huge panorama with the new Mavic 4 Pro if we use the full resolution of the Hasselblad 28mm camera. Now let's see how we can stitch together the images to a panorama. I use a PTGUI Pro. So let's first take the images. Before I stitch together the images, I import the PP wizard file. So we have the coordinates from each image and the stitching program knows which image has to stitch together with another one. That's really important if you have blue sky, water, you have no control points and so it's important that you can import an XML file who shows the program where is the position of each image. We will get 62,000 pixels per line. So we can see we have uh, quite a good result. I will just recenter the whole image. And then I can save it directly. You can see we have here 63,000 pixels. I will downsize that to 62,000. I use sRGB. That gives us more uh, color results into the JPEG uh, file. And it's always a good thing if, if you have a NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphic card. And now I will export the panorama. I took the same panorama with the 70 millimeter camera with the inbuilt panorama function. What we can see, it takes the low resolution, 4000 per 3000 pixel with the 70 millimeter, uh, also with the inbuilt function with the Hasselblad uh, 28 millimeter, it takes the small resolution. And now let's see what we get if we stitch them together. Also here I use a paper wizard file to arrange the, the blue sky. Without the paper wizard, file it will be difficult to see for the program which image has to stitch together with another one and what we can see the camera from the um, Mavic 4 Pro goes up to plus 70 degree and we have not the full sky with the 70 millimeter. We can fix that later with uh, Zenit shots or we can fix that also in Affinity Photo. Now if we will save this panorama, we have about 50,000 per 25,000 pixels at 
image size. So we have a lower image size with 155 images. That's one of the big advantage to use the 28 millimeter in full resolution, but you have to do the panorama manually. To create the XML paper wizard files, I created a long time ago the XML creator. Actually with the version 2.4, I implemented also the Mavic 4 Pro 28 millimeter and the Mavic 4 Pro 70 millimeter. We can simulate the optimize panorama. We can see it here. It's even possible with only 29 images to take the full uh, 360. But that will not be possible to do it manually as we have to use the compass from the aircraft. You, I will show you that later. Let's see what happens with the 70 millimeter there we get about 154 images and I'm at the maximum at plus 70 degree from the gimbal pitch. You can see it here, we get not the full size in the simulation and in the reality. We, can't, we don't get the zenith with plus 70 degree with the 70 millimeter lens. Now, uh, how do we work with the created images? I have here the function where we can create the XML file directly from the EXIF. It's not really the EXIF, it's the XPC header, header of the, the image. It can be a raw image, DNG file or a JPEG file. So click uh, on that. Let's go to the folder where I have the images. can take the 70 millimeter and now we get all the images directly at the right position and we can save this XML file here and with that it's easy for PTGOI, Otopano, Giga or even Eugen to stitch together the images. It's always difficult if you have a blue sky or water to find the reference points and for this reason it's important that the program knows where the images are. Let's do the same thing from the AB shooting. You can even take the Photomatix Pro stitched files and you will get the position of the images to stitch them together in PTGOI, Autopano Giga or Eugen. Now let's see how we can take this manual AEB shooting. First we have to select the 100 megapixel resolution from the 28 millimeter. All the camera values are manually set. Then let's start and go to the shooting point. I am already in AEB mode. Now let's check the settings to have the right exposure. I will take three images. I turn around to check the exposure from the whole image. We are at 00 plus 33. So we can let the settings like that. I have changed the white balance. I'm shooting in JPEG, not in RAW mode. Don't forget we have 100 megapixel per image. So let's see how long it takes to save three images. And I'm now at north plus 70 degree pitch angle. Take the first three images, turn to west. Take the second three images at plus 70 degrees. Go to south. Take the next three images. You can move during the images are saved. It takes quite a lot of time to save the images. I have to wait at east until the images are saved and then I can take the next picture. Now I turn back to north and now I go down to plus 40 degrees pitch angle. 
Then again I will start at north to take the three images and now I go between north and west. It's about 45 degrees. So I take here eight images. Then I go to west, take three images, go into the position between west and south. About 45 degrees takes the images and so on. I repeat, you can change the position of the aircraft during saving images. So you can save time for the whole shooting. And we take at each 45 degrees the three images. Then I go to plus 15 degrees pitch angle at north. To take again eight images each 45 degrees. I will speed up the recorded shooting. Then we go down to minus 15 degree pitch angle and we take again eight images at 45 degrees each position. Then we have to change the pitch angle again. I go to minus 40 degree and we will start again to take the eight images each at 45 degrees between north, west, south and east. And then we go to minus 60 degree pitch angle and we will take only four images, one at north, one at west, one at south, one at east, and then the final at minus 90 degrees. It takes about eight minutes to do a sh shooting like that. And the delay point is also the saving time for these huge images. So if you take in raw with five images, A, B shooting, you will have half an hour. So that's the big difference if you use JPEG only three images or raw five images for the AEB shooting, but you can uh, test that. Then I took an automated panorama with the 70 millimeter camera with 155 images. So you have to change the settings. It's only the small resolution. It's about 6000 per 4000 pixels, the image. But here uh, for this uh, shooting I took RAW. You cannot do it manually uh, with AEB with 155 images, it's not possible. It takes also about minimum 4 minutes to take a shooting like that. And it's much more complicated to stitch the images together. But it's an uh, alternative, so the 70mm lens for the Mavic 4 Pro is very professional. I get good results, but I prefer personally the AEB shooting with the 28mm at 100 megapixels. That gives me better results. There's also one negative point with the 150 images, you have not the Zenit. So you have to take additional Zenit shots or you have to fix that in Affinity Photo. And I don't like that. I prefer real sky also for the, the Zenit. And that's possible with plus 70 degrees at 28 millimeters. I use a 512 gigapixel SD card, a fast one. So I can do a lot of shootings. That's also to take into consideration. I am here about 2000 meter altitude and the battery lifetime is about 41 minutes at this altitude as it was shown in the beginning of this shooting. You have also to take this in consideration, but I have still 28 minutes left so I can do some other shootings. Now we can fix the Zenit with a huge image here with 50,000 pixels in Affinity Photo. We have 50,000 per 25 pixels. 
So we have first to change the projection of this image. It depends what you have uh, for a computer. It will take a small amount. And then you can go to the Zenith. I have a special video about fixing uh, panoramas, huge panoramas in Affinity Photo, but I will show you here shortly how we can do that very easy. Now, if I take some tools here, I will change from the moving mode to a fixed mode. So I can just select this hole here. That was from a shooting earlier this day. And then we can use the in painting function. It's like in uh, Adobe Photoshop where you have intelligence to fill holes. Also that will take some time depending on your hardware. Don't forget it's a huge image. It's about 50,000 per 25,000 pixels. So I have nothing to add. It's very precise, very intelligent. And then I can go back into the projection mode to see if I have other defects into the image. Now I'm back into projection mode and I can check the image. We can also change here the view to go more in details, but the maximum is about 30 degrees here. But it's quite amazing what we can do in Affinity Photo. You can't do that with Adobe Photoshop, it's not possible. They cancelled all the 3D program, but with Affinity Photo you have a good tool to do it. I'm quite impressed what we can do with the Mavic 4 Pro with the 100 megapixel AEB mode. I also adapted the XML creator. You find the download link down in the description. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next time, thanks for watching.